I have a problem. Well, I have a lot of problems. This video is gonna focus on my recent obsession with getting 100 gigabit networking, working in my home lab, and to get file transfer speeds across the network as fast as possible. Wait, Brett, didn't you just do a video on that? Yes, go watch it. Long story short, I bought a 100 gigabit switch, some 100 gig NICs, and connected them. This was okay, but there were two issues. One was that my motherboard only had four PCIe lanes left, which isn't nearly enough for 100 gig at Gen 3 speeds. And two is that my actual file transfer speeds to my ZFS NVMe pool weren't any faster than on my normal 10 gig network. I did reference that there's this thing called SMB Direct, which uses RDMA to greatly speed up network file transfers, so I did wanna revisit that. Okay, so what changed? Well, to handle my PCI bandwidth issue, I hinted that I wanted to build a Threadripper system, which would give me plenty of lanes. So, I bought a new Intel Z790 motherboard. Wait, what? Well, here's the thing. I didn't really need more than the normal 20 lanes from my Intel 13900K. I just needed the ability to allocate them better. The fancy ASUS board that I got actually allows me to run each of the two X16 physical slots at X8 speeds. And at PCI Gen 4 speeds, that's over 100 gig. Neat. I did now need a PCI Gen 4 card since the Connect X5s I was using before are only Gen 3, so I snagged a Connect X6. Great. Well, the Connect X6 would not work in Windows 11. It wasn't an OEM NVIDIA card, it was actually a Cisco branded one, which comes with a custom firmware. I guess this just isn't compatible with Windows 11, I don't know. I even tried to change the PID and flash an OEM firmware on there, but it just wouldn't work. I took my L there, returned it, and snagged a dual port Connect X5. Eight lanes of PCIe Gen 3 speeds gives us 64 gig. Not quite 100, but I'll live. The second issue was that my actual file transfer speeds were nowhere near 100 gig. This could have been a combination of my ZFS file system and using SMB. To fix this, I changed both of those, kind of. I got rid of the NVMe ZFS pool in TrueNAS in favor of a Windows storage pool. That's right, I'm using Windows Server 2022 as a NAS. I'm still running it on my main Proxmox server as a VM where my TrueNAS runs, so no other hardware was needed. I actually snagged another dual port Connect X5, but I'll explain why in a bit. Well, that fixes our ZFS issue, but SMB is notoriously slow, so now we're going with SMB. Huh? I mentioned before a thing called SMB Direct with RDMA and covered it briefly in my last video. More specifically, ROCE or RDMA over converged ethernet. Basically, it's a feature that allows you to use SMB, but with a different protocol called RDMA rather than over TCP. This bypasses the OS and network layer to allow communication directly between the two NICs. This is a really cool feature that I won't even pretend to fully understand. It will apparently work on certain Linux distros, but it's natively supported in Windows, so that's the plan. With RDMA enabled on both my Windows 11 machine, well, now it's Windows 11 Pro for workstations, since apparently you need that to use RDMA. In my Windows Server 2022 VM, I was ready to get those 100 gigabit speeds. Remember, I actually only have 64 gigs because the PCI bandwidth limit on my workstation. Let's see what kind of speeds we get. Well, damn, that's way faster than what we were getting before on our ZFS pool over regular SMB, but still not quite 64 gig. 58 gig is definitely fast and nothing to sneeze at, but I wanna max this out. I even ran the Mellanox built-in benchmarking tools and that was even telling me that I could only get around 58 gig. I wanted to rule out the NVMe drive pool, so I tested the speeds directly on the server and that definitely wasn't the issue. I also tried running RAM disks on both machines to see if that would do anything, but nope. So what's the bottleneck here? My next thought was maybe there's some overhead with SMB Direct and RDMA. So while 64 gig is the theoretical max, 58 may just be the realistic max. I tested this by moving the connection from my workstation to my HL15 running Windows Server. Now I have two machines, both with 16 lanes of PCIe, so no bottleneck. And would you look at that, 75 gig speeds. I even got in the 80s when running the Mellanox tests. Again, not quite 100 gig, but at this point, I'm thinking I'm just hitting the realistic max of this setup. 
There really isn't much online in terms of what speeds are to be expected using SMB Direct with RDMA, so I have no idea if this setup is even any good. Let me know if you have experience with this stuff because I'd really like to learn more. Now the moment of truth. Let's test actual file transfer speeds between my workstation and my Windows NAS. Oh, um, well, okay. So yeah, just like we see most tests online, a lot of it is theoretical and designed to give you the best numbers. But when actually using it like I would normally, which is to transfer files and edit from, it's just no different from my original 10 gig setup from like three videos ago. Now, does this mean that this was all a failure? Absolutely not. This is super interesting to me and I learned about a cool new feature. I also got to upgrade to DDR5 RAM. Neat. And I went with dual port NIC so that I could have one direct connection for RDMA and the other going to my switch to connect to the rest of the network. As of right now, my switch doesn't support ROCE, but hey, I'm terrible with money, so maybe that'll change soon. Well, this ends my 100 gig journey. There clearly isn't anything else that I could possibly do to get better numbers. As we've seen, my real world use case doesn't even take full advantage of 100 gig. Yep absolutely nothing else left to do. Jokes aside, I'm actually getting dangerously close to pulling the trigger on a Threadripper system, not only for the 100 gig pipe dream, but to see what kind of crazy editing setup I can run and how it compares to what I have now. If you wanna see this happen, tweet at me and tag Asus, telling them to send me a motherboard because I think if I spend any more money right now, my wife will give me the old medieval vasectomy. But that's all I have for you on this one. If you like this video, then drop a like. If you like content like this, then go ahead and subscribe. I want to give a huge shout out to my YouTube members and my Patreons. You guys are my full 100 gig connection with RDMA that actually gets 100 gig speeds. You guys are Sonic the Hedgehog. And if you're still watching, you're SMB 1.0. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.